Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Sunday, January the 23rd. The year is 2022. Let's talk trading. Weekly open and gap. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. We are heading into the last week of January. And taking a look at the month, we can see we are 35 pips over the monthly open, 188 off the high and 130 off the low. So price has definitely moved a few pips so far. For this week, we open below the pivot as usual. Uh, we have a few gaps that haven't filled. One, two, three that haven't filled. Getting a high touch alert here on the pound. So just uh, just to be clear, the uh, pound gap down and it filled the gap. Wasn't much of a gap, but it did gap down. Okay. As far as the uh, weekly opening range, we're putting that in at the moment. And we are slightly above the opening range for the month and the year. So this will be the opening range for the year starting in February. So then we'll have to put in a new opening range, which that should be interesting next week because we'll put in the weekly opening range followed by the monthly opening range. As far as the year goes for 35 pips above the yearly open. And we put in an inside bar three days ago, and we broke out of it on Friday. Note, <clears throat> we touched that weekly inside bar low from one week ago. And just to let you see what that looks like, last week was an inside bar. We touched a low. So we're looking to see a breakout here, whether it happens to the downside or the upside. But I'm pretty sure we'll probably have a breakout sometime this week and but as far as that monthly inside bar from three months ago i mean that was a whopper of a bar about what 401 pips so there's a lot of movement just so you know what that bar looked like it was followed by a nice big bar too in the monthly and we have some inside bar action not a lot at the moment range we are only four hours into the trading day almost five hours into the trading day so right at the moment no pairs over 100 in range in fact somebody was questioning uh, i think they asked a question on youtube about um how many times the uh, pound um was under 70 pips and I think it happened, what was, I can't remember. You have to go out on that other video. I don't want to say something that's stupid. So, um, and talking about stupid, uh, I had to ban somebody off of Crest like because um, obviously they were just there to cause trouble, not to contribute to the uh, forum in a meaningful way. But, you know, that happens. And range is too low, of course, this time of day on Sunday. Uh, looking at the pivot, we're below the pivot, says price at or near the pivot. The bias is short, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. It looks like price did get near the pivot at uh, 135.66. We had a high of 649, so it looks like uh, the sellers turned the price away. And so far, we've missed the pivot by just two pips. That's interesting. We have a, a missed pivot here. 
right here that missed by two pips too real interesting some of these misses a one pip miss that's within a hand grenade so you could almost call that a hit but technically not oh while i'm at it let's take a look at the week uh weekly pivot 135.95 see if price can move towards that monthly pivot is still down below and we've already missed we've missed it by 19 pips and we're 148 pips above it at the moment so there's still we'll have to wait and see what happens there with that one on the wick zone you can see we're out of the lower wick zone if i switch this back over to the uh, one hour chart there was a nice wick zone trade to the north, good for about 10 or more pips, 10 or 12 pips if you took it. And we've been staying above the weekly open so far. Range, nothing that we've mentioned, only 19 pips as before. And we went over these other ranges um earlier but let me switch over to the monthly chart so we can just get a, a perspective here and you can see right now we're at 318 pips for the month which is still in the zero percentile over the last 12 months only 318 pips this month so seems like we're we're a lot off but there's still you know another five or six trading days left so anything could happen we could make a new monthly high or low we did have a nice breakout high minus previous high of 199 we didn't break out at a low but we did have some nice runs off of the monthly open 22 pips to the upside and 96 pips to the downside. So trading the monthly crossover was definitely uh, profitable. And looking at the sweet spots goal, simple price action with the Walmart lines. As you can see, there's just no range here on the hourlies. You, and this is not the time of day to trade the Walmart method. So that's part of uh, problem solving. Sometimes if you have the right method, but the wrong time of the trading day, it's not going to work out. So that's why I run all those statistics and write those indicators. So you can use them to pinpoint when you should be trading because the when is a very important part of trading. Very important. Depending on which pair you like to trade or pairs, um, trading in the right time frame makes all the difference in the world. And the higher low, lower high trade right here, you can see coming off of the three ball, there's a couple pips to be had once and the second trigger and a third trigger. Actually, yeah, we had set, yeah, we had one, two, three triggers. So taking that trade to the south side definitely paid off. Since there was a three ball, you definitely want to be looking for shorts. One of the things I was analyzing a trade that I got stuck in on Friday what had happened was price had run up and then i was thinking it was going to continue but that was my problem when you, when it does this you want to see it break out because right here it can do what it um what it did to me and what it did again today so that's just one of those things that you have to um look at and analyze so it's one of those things where you know if you were to take one of these trades and then you see it falling out of those wicks when you look left into these candle bodies um you just have to you know either stop out or, or cut your loss one way or the other because price is definitely not going your way
and actually I can see right here um, between this low and this high there's a nice imbalance zone here so chances are price is going to probably come down and uh, take out that imbalance just like it took out the imbalance between here and here and between here and here so I don't have that indicator loaded because um, now that I understand what to look for I don't really need it um, I can just I can see it almost instantaneously it's like oh there's an imbalance oh there's an imbalance and that's just part of trading but that's not to say you don't need or don't want to use the indicators it's just after a while somebody who's saying uh out there said yeah your charts are starting to look like charts on drugs i go yeah if you put too many things on the chart they do but you know this is simple you got a couple horizontal lines you got the uh three level zz a few gauges you know some of these gauges here just telling you a few different things but you don't really need to load up a whole bunch of indicators and then once again just looking at the highs and lows that haven't been crisscrossed and taken out on the uh, with the uh, I think that was a training wheels breakout indicator I put on here yeah and it's just you know giving you a clue which way to be careful So it's still telling you to be caution short because of the monthly breakout. But you can see here, it's almost coming back down. To, it's only about 10 pips above the uh, previous month's high. So we might be uh, out of that breakout area shortly. Trying to think of, was there any other questions? out there that somebody was asking i definitely remember the one about the statistics um you know it's funny because uh i go out and i get comments sometimes people will comment on an old old video in fact one person asked me about the thrift stores and the movies well one um i haven't been going to the library to get the dvds so if i watch it off of uh you know streaming or something or actually I've been watching more YouTube than I have even of uh, movies. Um, there's some pretty interesting channels out there, a lot of how-to stuff. Um, and then somebody was asking about the thrift stores. Um, I got too much stuff. I stay out of thrift stores, even though I was thinking I should probably check them out after the holidays just to see if there's any good finds. But I've got more than enough stuff. I don't have room for really any more stuff. I got to get rid of some stuff if anything um and so i haven't really been making those other videos i haven't made like any prepper videos if you watch those because it's almost like i start to repeat myself and the thing is you know after a while you you get things down to a science um and and that's it it's almost you know it's almost like trading um you figure out something that works for you and that's what you do and you don't really have to think about it or or, or mess with it and, unless something stops working you know the thing with me is i always i see different things in fact i was working on some indicators earlier today um just that was a simple thing comparing the size of the wicks you add the this the uh the range of the wicks and compare it to the candle body just to see um if that gave me any indication of if price was going to continue or if price was going to reverse so that's what i'm working on now so fellow traders um i hope you have a profitable week i hope you had a fun and safe weekend um and the next time you sit down to your trading platform always remember and never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks this is the rumpled one over and out.